All right, guys, we are doing a little DIY project today. We are going camping next week. It's snowing. Monday. Oh, my what? God. <laughs> and it started snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it is snowing. <laughs> anyway, back to no, what we're doing. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. Oh, it's ninth. Yeah, May 9th. It is May 9th. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a DIY. The the so, as you can see, we have a little, we built a breakfast table that actually lifts up along the side uh, when we're not using it. And the wheel, and the legs come off. Our bed, yeah. the master bed, we lay like this. So what we were trying to do is we want to make a little, make it a little more, uh, a little bigger bed. And so what we want to do is instead of them laying like this, east west. Lay, yeah, east east west style, we want to lay like this. North you can see how much room Esme's legs stick Wait, off. Let alone Aaron and myself, me being six foot tall. My feet are going to be out here. Aaron's like five seven eight. No. I'm taller than so her. So we have. <laughs> A dilemma here because we have the bed or the table and, the, and then we want to bring the bed out we could make it where we put the table up and then just have it the bed out but then we are not able to do like as Alethea is doing right now eating while we're being lazy in the bed so what we're gonna do is show you how we're gonna make this all work and uh, make it that we can add an extension onto our bed Okay, so what we're doing, the girls are inside working on cut, cut the mattress pads. What I'm doing is I took, I got two by threes, and I'm going to build a frame for the part, the hinge part that we're going to extend for our king size mattress. I'm going to get it, get all the wood cut, all the two by threes, and frame it up for you, and I'll be back. <laughs> so as you can see, Esme's feet are hanging off. And since I'm much, much taller than her, <laughs> much, much taller, wow. my feet would hang off too. But look at this girl. Her feet breathe. Dad, Dad's legs would probably be like this. <laughs> yeah. Action. So I am the reason why I am putting Rocky to do all, do all this work because I sleep here on this side. Usually Raylan sleeps in here. Sometimes Esme sleeps with us. <laughs> I'm pretending to be dad. Alethea is represent da representing daddy. <laughs> so usually it's very, very crowded because these children don't sleep in their own beds because no. I'm only kidding. They, they, they sometimes don't. But I feel no. cramped and clustered and I I don't like it and I wake up hurting. I'm used to our king bed and sleeping with my dog. Wink, wink. <laughs> so we are going to switch. Switch. Everybody move. Ah. <laughs> Your daddy, you gotta be a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the finished framing product. So I'm gonna put some plywood on the top. All right, so this is the back of the camper. The reason we bought this camper, the huge selling point in this camper, was that it has a triple bunk in the back. One for Alethea, <laughs> one for Esme, and there's Rayland. But they have these cushions They have these. that seem, they're not bad, I'm, I've seen worse in campers, but so we added this little spirally egg crate type thing on top. Right here. We did it to all three of the beds. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Only think I got like a double one, but I guess since we're going to be practicing this going full time, we are going to up the quality of their... Um, mattresses so what we are going to do is take this four inch thick foam um, piece we have to cut it down to be the right uh, width because it's a lot wider than these twin little camper twins and then we're going to take them and we are going to put them on top of the camper mattress um, but we also the girls got new sheets we're going to actually coordinate back here well, Alethea, what'd you 
Um, so we have a twin. It's just like a blue and white one for each of us. And then we, since it's slightly smaller than a twin, um, we have these so that we can pull the sheets tight on them. <laughs> <laughs> they all have fun. So we are working on a lot of projects today. Esme's and mine are each 30 inches in width. So cutting off this is like 32 inches wide for a normal twin, I guess. So we have to cut it off two inches. And then Esme's, the real one, that's real one. No, one inch. Today. Raylan's is 28 inches wide. I don't know why they're different, but so we're going to have to cut it off like four inches. And we're going to use the extra squishy part for squishies. <laughs> <laughs> what are you using to cut it? Um, this is dad's like pocket knife. Uh, box, box, box cutter, cutter type. Box cutter knife pocket thing. And it's cutting through really easily? Yeah. Yeah, because um, it's a fresh blade. It's a fresh blade. And last time when we cut foam like this for the couch, we like went the whole way like this and just kept going boom boom but now we're only cutting small sections at a time and cutting the whole way through and it works a lot better so if you don't have like a big thing that you can just like saw through it do it that way okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right so i got this half inch thick piece of plywood um obviously it's way bigger than it needs so i'm just going to cut it down to the size of the actual piece uh, it's a little over a half inch thick and it's sanded on the, one, the other side so it's going to give it a nice finish. That's you. Uh, so we'll be back. Okay, so I finished cutting the first one, which was my bed. So we're actually going to put this sheet on both of the mattresses. So this is the camper mattress the camper that mattress. it came with. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're going to do that, and we got to make sure it's facing the right way. Do you have yours like that? Um, this is the bottom. Yeah. So it came with pillowcases. Yes, it came with pillowcases. It's like a full fitted sheet set. So, um, this is the fitted sheet part. Uh, so I turned it over so that it's the right way. Okay, so it looks a little big because she put it the wrong way. Right. I like this blue. Yeah, it's really pretty. So we're all going to have the same sheets, but we'll have different curtains once I get to it. Once she gets to the curtains. Alright, so it is big. So that's why we have those special things. Flip it over. I thought they were going to be too small. Okay, so it's corner to corner. So you take it here. It's like overalls, technically. Yeah, kind of. And it has like a tightening strappy. So I'm gonna untighten it, and then I'll tighten it once I put the thing on. I'm gonna make it pretty wide. Oh, I can't walk anymore. Take me away. Like that. And then we do that to all four of the co other three corners. Mm -hmm. So we're on our last one. We did it. Now we're going to do it with the other two. This is how it turned out. We're going to need Dad's help because you got to fold it all around. And yeah, it's pretty hard to put in. But I'm going to get Dad and then we'll put it in. And down a little bit. Okay, so it is a pain to get in. So we put it in. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Let me put my sheet on it. So what is it? It came with the fitted sheet, which we already put on, and then it came with a pillowcase and the regular sheet, the flat sheet, whatever it's called. Like when you go into hotels and they have two. <laughs> Here's a view of our table up. We took out the legs, which screw in here like this. Um, yeah, bear with the mess. We're moving everything around. And then it latches up here so we can keep it out of the way. So this is where I guess Rocky's getting his idea for our bed. Yeah, it doesn't have the legs on it, but then it lays out like that. And back up again. So, so here's what he has done so far. So far, we have so I put the frame in, I used the same thing as what I have over there, just the uh, door hint, uh, the fence hinging. The nice thing about these frame, 
Hold on, I was sorry. <laughs> the nice thing about these hinges, uh, you can put a pin in here and it locks it in place for you. So that in our traveling, it's it won't vibrate out in any way. Flip it out down like so. Now I don't have the legs on yet, but that's going to be the extension. And what it's allowing us to do, the reason it's not the full length, it's allowing us to still have, once again, no legs, but it'll allow us to still be able to use the table. Yeah, because I like to get lazy and lay in bed during the day. And have that extra, where did those legs go? On the bed. Here, we'll put one of these in. It's the wrong one, but I'll just put it in there so you can see. So these just spin in. Like so, and it's snowing again. Furry. The light's not adjusting. It's not the right one, so I'm just going to put it lightly in there. But essentially, it stays up like that, so you can see that the bed will still be able to, uh, will still be able to use that bed, uh, and then the children can use the table, eating and things like that. And we can still be lazy. Eating. Speaking so, of the children, uh, let's see how they're. Um, <laughs> Bed's turned out. <laughs> Is it okay? Okay, Esme has this baby gate thing here because my blankets always fall. Yeah, she she throws her blankets on the floor by at by morning time. Um, Esme or Raylan's relaxing in her new bed. I have my phone with and me. This is how thick they turned out. Was it like six inches? Now you guys. I have my six phone inches with now, me. yeah. And there's Lethe. And wait, on a my bed. Bully. Mommy. Are they comfortable? I want to tell them something. I laid so, down in it without a pillow. And, it was great. Um, we went, well, my, Alicia was cutting it. I was laying on this, and... You can't pull it up. It's strapped down, remember? And, right here... Uh-huh. We'll, we'll show is, the picture. The picture that we drew of you. Yep. <laughs> okay. Back to daddy. And um, so I have to wait. I have to sit like this on my bed. Because <laughs> it's so tall now. Uh -huh. So essentially, our next step, uh, we have a, another four inch piece um, that we got that's uh, four inch thick, like so. Uh, so you can see I have a little bit of an offset due to my hinge. Uh, I had an issue with my pivot points, so I had to sort of redesign it a little bit. This isn't quite where we were gonna go with it, but uh, it'll work. But you can see we have we have about an inch, uh, inch difference here in our thickness of this mattress pad versus the six inch mattress pad that we have here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use the egg crates that we uh, took off of the girls' beds because now they have the other mattress pads. We're just gonna fold it over uh, and have them together which will pick up the extra depth and then we'll wrap it uh, with the, the sheet and we'll be able to stretch out on it. So this is uh, 72 inches long. Um, yeah, 72 inches. So if I put that all the way back there. Now we're at 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, about 78 inches of length in bed, uh, which gives us to our, queen, our king size laying lengthwise. And that means my dog can fit. Yep. <laughs> and the table can still be up. So I have to go to Lowe's yet and get the legs for it. We're going to do the same thing as we did with the uh, the table. We're going to drop a leg here. There's going to be a leg here. And I scientifically put this one in its place so that Mama can still open up her drawer. Oh, yeah, we do have, we have drawers clear. under here. We took an old dresser, right? We yeah. took an old dresser. Yeah, we have dresser drawers underneath. So she can still, I have one placed here 10 inches out so that she can still open her drawers up and not have it interfere with the table. Uh, like so. So you can see the leg will actually just sit and rest right up against it when she opens it. So she can still access in there with her bed down if she'd like to. Um, so, and you'll see how simple it is. We'll do a final. Uh, once we get this all together, we'll put it, we'll put up your final of how easy it's going to be to, to put this up and down. Essentially what you're going to have to do is we're going to have to slide the this mattress separate mattress pad just slightly up and then all we're going to do is lift up and drop drop and lock it. Stop. Yeah drop, this also it. keeps the dogs off our bed when we leave. Yeah because yeah, uh, Willow likes to get up on there. 
Yeah, she's um, gotten up on our table. She's like, yeah. So basically, oh, once that's done, yeah, she's got, gotten up on the top bunk before. These. Oh yeah, she got up on the top yeah, bunk. Yeah, she's got up on all. Pretty much been able to get up on everything. So, so how are you going to keep it from resting on our couch and giving it a big mark? Um, yeah. So over here, so the last leg is actually going to be here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, take from here and suspend down. Drop this back down. Um, I'm going to go from here, underneath here, and suspend down with like one of those chains uh, or a decorative, nice heavy rope. Um, since our theme in, in the living area, you can see is like the seashells and the red, white, and blue. Uh, it might actually look neat doing like the, yeah, the sailors, the sailors. the sailors rope. So that'll that'll help take some of that weight off this side and avoid putting a leg here and pushing into our couch. But then what I'm going to do here is uh, on this fascia um, to eliminate this from being visible like that. I'm going to take the same shiplap style veneer or uh, v board that I have on the that I put on the walls. And we're going to put that on here. We're just going to paint the front face of this uh, white, and then do the, the the shiplap look on the on this side, so that it just gives a little bit more uh, aesthetics to it. Uh, so that if we do when we're not using it, we can simply just have it up in the air. Um, and another nice thing is it works as a nice backboard for, yeah, that's for the true. couch here. If we're sitting on the couch, so it's going to give us a lot of versatility. Um, and the way I hinged it, you guys can see, get a close up of the hinge. Um, I actually went to Lowe's and I bought a, uh, if you can see it, this is actually a piano hinge. It's four foot long. So it's in, it's screwed into my metal framing here on the, on the actual uh, camper. And then I have it screwed in up underneath on my, fr or in the side of this frame, my two by three framing that's in here. Um, so it's nice and sturdy. That's actually how we did the kitchen table. Uh, we did the pantry or the table. That's how we did our dinette table uh, for them. And it works all season. So I figured I'd do the same thing here. Uh, so that's our, our project so far. You'll see when I'm finished with the fascia here and the cushion it will be our next vis uh, next thing you'll see. Many hours later. Woo! <laughs> so Alright guys. So you can see got the matching that matches our walls, got the paneling on. Um, I got our leg pieces on, like are on the table. So all we gotta do is screw in the legs. Uh, obviously because you don't want those legs sticking way far out. So how that works is uh, I went to Lowe's and got some legs. Now these were longer. I had to cut them down. Uh, they have threading in there. And uh, we put some sliders on the bottom so that it doesn't tear up our, our linoleum that we put in. So you put these in like so. And then uh, just take my latch down. And what I also did, uh, remember I was mentioning about uh, on the side here, I found some really cool rope and when we put it down, I'll show that to you. So we drop this down like this, like so. Make sure our legs are nice and steady. Drop down our mattress pad, like so. And then we're just tuck it in this end. We actually put a king size uh, fitted sheet on it. It actually works pretty well there. And <laughs> it's huge. Go show them how much bigger it is now, Ezzy. Voila. Let's pick up my shoes. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Like so. And then if you look over here. But it's gonna be funny. Side. It's gonna be funny because when you close it, <laughs> it's like Our when feet will stick out. It's like when tall people go camping in <laughs> tents. In tents, yeah, they stick their feet out. <laughs> <laughs> There's come eat your feet. Yeah. Yes. All right. So you can see I went to Lowe's and they had this really cool uh, cord. This actually will hold up to 550 pounds. 
So what I did was I took a um, a rope loop, and it's actually a one uh, a eighth inch smaller loop for the rope. Uh, so what I did, it cinched it. I used some some electrical tape and I cinched it in there, and then over here at the bottom. Uh, it's going to sort of hold that mattress in for us, but then also cinched it down here. And like I said, this will hold 500 pounds. So my, my 250 or 240 pounds of, of weight isn't going to bother it. Uh, so it's finished. And all we have to do is try it out and see what... Yeah, it takes up a little bit of room when we have it down, but... That's only going to really be down if we're well, sleeping or we being lazy. Yes. Here, so it's just yeah, we yeah. also have all our equipment yeah, and right work now, stuff. Yeah, right everything's out of, walked out of place here. But it gives us this ability, plus it, we're able to use the table at the same time. Here it is. You can see this is all how it is. It's oh, look, sanded. it would be a good place for homeschooling, too. Yeah, there you go. Nice desk for homeschooling. Although this one's in our full-time camper, up. but it is for now. Yeah, this close those back up. All like right. So. So, so it's multi multi use. You have to show them we got creative. <laughs> we had extra foam left over. Yep. And the girls were sleeping on sleeping bags before. Switch the camera. Um, the girls were sleeping on sleeping bags before, and they had. Um, Start over. Action. Um, so we got creative also because we had leftover egg crate stuff. And the girls, before we got everything fitted, um, were sleeping on sleeping bags. So I insisted on having a dog bed in here. So we cut the extra foam in half, used one of the sleeping bags. Yeah, pull that down. That's my sleeping bag. And now we have a dog bed. We also have another one back. Yeah, there. there's another one back in the back for Chandler. Alethea made one back there for her dog. Alethea, show one. us your flip flops. <laughs> Alethea. <laughs> Okay, so what did what you do? She made um, flip flops <laughs> out of foam. <laughs> They're really comfortable. Four inch foam. It's like you're stepping on a cloud. I, got, I was bored while Daddy went to Lowe's. Yeah, we all pretty much made squishies and everything. All right, so what are we gonna? That's right. This traffic sucks. This is why we want to go full time. Hey guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then once you do that, turn on the bell so that you get notifications on when we post more videos.